Yo, what is going on, guys? Jay here, and uh, welcome back to uh, one of my favorite games in the world, Ratchet and Clank. You already know what it is. I'm not even going to delay this any further. I got nothing else to say except for the fact that I'm back and I'm excited to play this shit again. So, uh, let's go on to Planet Yadara. I think this is the one where I never really got to make it to in my, uh, in my first younger uh, days in, the, in this playthrough, so that's whatever. Meanwhile, board the Executive Chairman's direct flagship. Yes, quite lovely. That should just about do it. Commander, we are finished with this world. Commence towing our planet to its next destination. Lieutenant! Yes, sir. You have fulfilled your tree quota. Barely. We are ready to return to base. Not so fast, Lieutenant. Just because we don't need any more trees doesn't mean they should have them. Destroy everything. <laughs> hmm. I do have to add that uh, it it, it is kind of sucky, you know. I don't like spoiling things. That he doesn't last too long in this game. I like those the little chemistry those two had together, you know. Oh my god, plenty of this is another good world. Like even though it's pretty small, planet I should say, it still looks fun. I keep pressing select. It looks pretty good for the world that it. Oh shit, there are butterflies around. I never even noticed that. Can I break them? Oh, they're too far away now. But uh, yeah, I always loved this planet. Why was it excluded from the remake? I have no idea. But fuck it, let's go. Whoop! Fuck you too, then. Oh yeah, and we are about to get my one of my most favorite and adored weapons in this game. And uh, I will show you. Oop, let me get that. Yeah. I will show you guys in a second. Right after I collect all these bolts, I will save this path for last. For obvious reasons, but uh, you guys will find out soon if you haven't already known about this game, you know. Alright, so here we go. Let's check it out. The Gloves there, of ball. Doom. Gloves. There's only one glove. But I love this fucking weapon so much. I want to get it, but I feel like I'll wait until after I finish this planet. And I do both sides. Because uh, that, uh, that weapon's going to be pretty useful in the next place we'll be going to after this one. Oh, yeah. If I remember correctly, yeah, there it is. There's a gold ball right up here. Wait, first collectible for this world. I think that's our only gold ball for this planet. If I'm not mistaken, there might be another one somewhere. I would have thought that the map would show you, but uh, let me check just to make sure. No, okay, right. So that's the only gold bolt there is here. Gotcha, 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 uh, Back in two ways to wait for that thing to beep. The beep beep and explode on me. I, even I don't know what I mean, so. I really should adjust this just a little bit. Ignore my miss on the bed. There we go. You spin this bolt right round, right round. Alright. You know, it's a shame that... You know, I gotta say something else about the remake. And I understand that this is becoming a trend now. But I can't help but compare this game to the remake so much. Because Ratchet & Clank 1 was a game I've, I've absolutely adored. I, I, I know. I say this show a lot. But this game is that good. And a remake is something I've always wanted for it. So how can I not compare the two? When the remake is so shit. Now, clearly Insomniac still has the touch when it comes to this franchise. And they've proven that with Rift Apart. But I can't say that I agree with what Rift Apart was trying to accomplish. This... This franchise accommodated itself with, uh, uh... I'm gonna say it with a very crappy, kiddie generation. Hell, back then, the stuff we got as kids was fucking awesome. Everything nowadays, it's gotta be all flashy and pretty looking. I get that. It's the future. We're moving on. Technology is growing with us. But does that mean everything has to be downgraded in a sense of tone, atmosphere? Well, I can't say atmosphere. Plot-wise, you know, just like, in general, 
things don't feel as badass and edgy as it used to be. It feels too kitty and cliche, you know? Like that whole thing with the uh, with the female Lombax, like I'm cool, but I'm cool with that. It's just the way they went about it was too generic and kind of iffy. They made, they made everything too cute. I never thought that was what, you know, Ratchet and Clank really stood for. But they went the extra mile to to really sh to really prove to us that, oh yeah, he's a furry by the way. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Like I love this like chill pace I'm getting with the first game. Just breaking shit using all these badass weapons. And I gotta say, man, the music just gets better and better as you progress into this game. Because every song's a jammer. And the difficulty too though. That's another thing I don't think I've uh, mentioned before. Is that this game didn't really have a difficulty. It was just you got four hits and that was it. You can upgrade it to five, you can upgrade it to six, I believe, afterwards. No. I believe it was eight. Looks like my neck was broken there, but yeah. It went to five, then to eight. Like I said, I don't think I'll be buying those, honestly. I might just buy... Oh, God, there's a bug in my room, and it's annoying the fuck out of me. I might just buy, like, the upgrade to go to 5 HP, and then I'll just stop it right there, because, uh... Like I said, grinding bolts in this game, hey, it's a chore. Every bolt you pick up is worth one, and it's just not worth it like any now. Another fucking hit. I believe that's five. No, that's six, actually. And another series that I've always wanted to like try out on this uh, on this channel is uh, Jack and Daxter. Uh, I think that's another good classic. I think I might try on this on this channel. Now I won't be 100%ing those either. As much as I love those games, are they or are they hard as fuck? I don't think I've ever beaten Jack two and three. I've beaten the first game, but like I said, those games are a bit difficult. <laughs> So as a kid, I kind of just tend to give up on them. Yeah, we're coming up on the end here pretty soon. This is, like I said, this isn't a really large planet. So they're big motherfucker. Dude, look at his eyes. They're like some fucked up sh uh, little clay balls. He dead. Oh, he's not dead. Wait a minute, was that laugh different or am I going crazy? Yeah, it's different, what the hell? Because in the... In the PS2 version, whenever he swings, he goes, ho ho ho. And that laugh was kind of just like a... <laughs> weird ass fucking laugh for a giant ass robot, but whatever. I gotta say though, I really wish they took their time. Them, me, Insomniac specifically. I wish they took their time more on uh, Up Your Arsenal. Because I really feel like they could have gone an extra mile with that game after the perfect sequel that is Going Commando. So to move to Up Your Arsenal for Going Commando, it's a, it's a bit of a shame. You know, we got reduced to one gadget. We got reduced to one arena. The death courses were cool, but they were just repeats. With like different branching I just noticed that the bolts are different colors depending on where you get them from. That's cool. But uh... uh mainly all I had to do was, was the fact that Insomniac were putting most of their focus on the uh... on the multiplayer spot of things. And it's a shame because 
they had multiple studios when they were working on uh, the Ratchet and Clank 3 uh, multiplayer. And I believe at one point, they decided to merge the two together to work on, uh, on multiplayer. I'm not too uh, knowledgeable in, in that whole aspect, but I can't talk. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but yeah. <laughs> Man, making me rich today. Alright. And here is our next weapon, the Sep Cannon. I don't think I'll be using this one all too much. But, yeah. I mean, it's a cool weapon. It's a cool idea. But, it's not something I'm, like, really fond of. That, okay, that was totally worth it. And that is the one and only time you'll uh, ever see me use the Suck Cannon in this game. Unless, of course, by, by the time I get to the final boss, and I happen to run out of ammo. I'll probably use it then. If you know, then you know. Alright. Fairly simple, fairly simple. They get more complicated as you go, though. Time for a quick, short puzzle route. I wouldn't really call this a puzzle, though. It was mainly me just jumping around. Okay. I gotta be careful with those long jumps. I tend to kill myself with them. Uh, swing shot. <laughs> jumping around, I'm cranking balls again. These bugs are extra annoying today. Alright, I'm gonna be a... Uh, whoop. Alright, and turn that one. And, uh, shut up phone. Alright, and jump again. I always like to make sure my jumps are precise because I can always fuck up in this game. With my jumps. I tend to do that a lot. That's why I can't wait to get into the second game because uh, the game they really fixed up the gameplay on that one with the strafing and the precise jumping and how jumping doesn't fuck up your momentum. Like check this out. See, and I just like slow down at one spot. Yep, you see. Okay. This goes here. Oops. That goes there. Pretty simplistic. All right. And this is the last time we'll ever see the lieutenant. Pretty sad, but uh, I wish he could have been a boss fight, you know? <laughs> you sure showed him. I suppose I did. Is your current occupation leaving a I'm sure that tasted bad, buddy. Then you need to know about BTS, Blog Tactical Research Station. Hi, I'm Supreme Executive Chairman Drek, and we here at BTS are seeking motivated individuals to fill positions in these exciting careers. Grind boot tester. They. Warhead if you're gonna position. smoke at all, I'm not saying you, you should. Animal they. husbandry. Robot repair man. Suck cannon test dummy. And administrative assistant. So call BTS. Build our weapons while you build your future. <coughs> I'm calling BTS today. Now we're talking. Did you see all the cool gadgets they're making? Let's go get some. No, we must continue our search for Captain Quark. You're absolutely right. I am? Sure. We need to find Quark. Although when we find him, wouldn't it be nice to be able to tell him where Chairman Drek is? I suppose. Well, we go to the space station and talk to the scientists. They work for Drek, so they're bound to know where he is. I am unsure about your logic. Ah, uh, you think too much. Come on, let's go. Why exactly was he so unsure about that? I mean, to be honest, that sounds like a good idea. If anyone was to know where Drek was, it had to be his scientists. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I gotta agree with Ratchet on that one. Clank tends to think too much in this game. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it for Yodora. 
Even though it's fairly short, bumping music, good atmosphere, good texture. I love it. All right, now off to Nebula G34. And this one has uh, quite a bit of gameplay to it. Might be here for the majority of this episode. Let's see, we're going on 15 minutes right now, so... Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Blog Station. This is one map they did justice in the in the remake. I'll be honest about that. And uh, what this introduces is everyone's least favorite weapon, but I find amusement enjoying using it. And uh, I'll show you in a second. The Taunter. Annoy your enemies and lure them into traps and ambushes with this obnoxious noise maker. Oh wow, that thing is so slow and fast to read. Am I right? But yep, I'm I'm obviously gonna get it. I love that weapon. Let's do it. Oh my God, Ratchet's fucking smiles. But yeah, I, I love this taunter. I, I love the little sounds it makes. I like to use this in the and the bomb glove, whatever. Uh, no, not the bomb glove. The trap glove, whatever it's called. But uh, before I do anything else, I'm gonna do this side mission real quick. And this is gonna give us another gadget that we're gonna be using in the next planet. We get the place clank. You know, a lot of people don't like the clank gameplay due to it being slow and like. And not as mobile as Ratchet, but honestly, I enjoy it. But first, I gotta admire this for a second. Like how you just see like a planet in the background like that. Walking through space, you see the asteroids. It, it's just so gorgeous to look at. Oh, and uh, yeah, there's our gadget over there we're gonna be collecting. What the fuck is that? I've always wondered, what exactly is this weird ass looking frog thing? It's probably like some science experiment's gone wrong or some shit. And the whole world feels so big just playing this coin. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it, uh, in this planet, uh, this planet. Jump. Yes, I know. I think there's about four gold bolts in this one. Could be wrong. Like, I believe there's one right back there. If you jump on top of that, and there should be one right around the wall. I can't get it just yet. Alright, more froggies. More froggy, froggy, punch, punch, punch. And they go down just like that. And fucking Clank's hands grow like super fucking big every time you swing. Oh, dude, look at that. There are more planets over here. I didn't even realize. Oh, wow. Look at... Oh, that's pro that is so pretty. And I believe you can see like... Yeah, there it is. You see like a little red dot just flying around in the distance. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm going to get these boxes. These boxes. Oh, yeah. So did these uh, space stations, like, give off gravity or something? Because shouldn't I be floating right now? Ah, whatever. It's a, it's a video game. Who cares? As a kid, I was always so nervous walking on this thing that the way I would do it, I would literally walk like this. And I would take my time so slowly on this thing. Like, I would just walk like, ooh, there's a purple light over there. Like, I would take my time and just do this. But, no. I'm fairly confident, so I just run around. Oh, there it is. There's a gold bolt. Ooh. Ooh. As I was saying, there is a gold bolt up there, so, uh, yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just do that again. I'm gonna have to live with that embarrassment now. 
Should I cut? Nah, we'll just keep it here. You guys can watch me break these boxes again. If I have to sit through it, so do you. Alright, here we go. Punch, punch, punch. Sweet. I wonder what this is used for anyway. Like a gas thing maybe? Because I see a tube underneath it. There's a green light now. Is that another planet down there? Oh, it's an asteroid. As I was saying, there's the gold bolt. I'll jump up here. There we go. Mm-hmm. There we go. There we go. We're in fucking business now. Ooh. Now look at this big boy. I'm not gonna take another bit. Ooh, voice crack. Yeah. Ugly ass dinosaur. Whatever the fuck that thing is. Lizard thing, lizard mama. Gadgetbots. How you doing, buddies? You have just activated a gadgetbot. To command a gadgetbot, hold down the triangle button and select wait, follow, attack, or enter. Alrighty then. Attack the big lizard bitch. Attack the frogs. Good job. Now, go kill yourself in that thing. Alright, we got our next gadget. And collect. So we got a new gadget. I won't say what it is yet. They'll introduce it in a sec. There the it is. The Gadgetron Hydro Displacer uses Insta Faucets and Insta Drains. Using it, you can drain and fill pools. Our sensors do not detect any on this space station. So that's going to be a pretty useful uh, item or gadget that we're going to be using within the next two planets or so. So yeah. All right. That was a fun little Clank section. I like the I like these gameplays with Clank. They're not too I'm bad. Back. So you are. And I found this. Hey, cool. It's a, 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 what is it? A hydro displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those, I guess. Yeah. All right, now we're back as Ratchet. Now we can do the planet. The planet. The space station. be starting with this route. There is another route right there, but I don't want to go there just yet. Ooh, I believe we're going to get... Ooh, lucked out on that one. I'm going to bring this out. Fuck you. No more hits for me. No more hits. A lot of frogs. Right, and this is why I love this thing so much. Get fucked. <laughs> that and it also breaks boxes. Alright, alright. Alright, no frogs are gonna come down here, yes, they are. Easy peasy. God, I love this flamethrower so much. Ah, we got all the little trespasser things. Let's do it, let's do it, unplug. I mean, plug in, not unplug. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this one. Obviously not like that. Uh, there we go. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, so check this out. You see how those aren't breaking right there? Check this out. That's why. You think he's slick, boy? Yeah, I ain't slick. These things like to hide in boxes. Ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna break them. The thing with the Tauntor is not many, I think like only three can break at a time. Or is it four? I forget how the mechanic on that works. But yeah, not all the boxes break at once. Due to like hardware limitations and, you know, tech shit like that. Right. 
udah Wait on this one and go. Sweet. And swing. Maybe there's more around here. Yeah. All right. It's really interesting that uh, all these crazy little science experiments these people did on like these different animals. Like I wonder what they were like before they became like vicious mutants. This looks like <clears throat> Okay. My mic disconnected there for a second. <clears throat> I got like something tickling in my throat. Blech. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> We're choking on shit, man. We can't be doing this shit. Oh god. Look at all the frogs, man. Who cool let all these bitches loose? Let me guess. Two of them got stuck up here, huh? Yep. Always happens. <clears throat> Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. There's hit number seven. God damn it. Alright, go ahead with your little fiery floor. This is, a. Uh, this is interesting. What's this here? I never really noticed this. If I'm supposed to be on a space station, why are these tunnels connected through rocky looking surfaces? Did they build this through an asteroid? Or did they just build this part of the ship with nothing but stone? Who knows? I got some. Just a little interesting detail. Oh god! Oh, you gotta be fucking... There's hit number eight. We're not doing good. We're not doing too good on the counter. We're taking hits left and right, I tell you. So yeah, I guess all those little frog things were held in these cages. All right, nice waste of ammo there. If I'm not mistaken. There should be a gold bolt in here. Yep, there it is. Another super sonic thingy. <laughs> if that's even what it's called. Gold bolt acquired. You're retired. I am so sorry. I promise to never do that again. All these little bitches right here. All right. Shoot that. So I'm hoping uh, for this week, I plan on plunging my channel with a lot of Ratchet and Clank 1. Only because uh, I love, don't get me wrong, I love Ratchet 1. But I just really, oh, I should have killed them with the, with the fence. Yeah, whatever. But it's just... I really want to get to the uh, to the other games. You know? They're more action-packed, more chaotic. And because, like, the races and all that, the tournaments, I just want to do all that fun stuff, you know? They're some of the best things about this franchise. And here we go, Big Mama time! Alright, just try and hit me. I wonder if I can only venture. Holy shit, wow, that's easy to do. That's funny. Alright, she's sending out her little frog buddies. Oh shit. I ain't hitting me today. No, I'm not hitting me today. Fuck 
you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Pretty simplistic boss. Yep, there's hit number nine. I hate it. I hate everything. Wow, how did I dodge that? I don't know, but I did. <laughs> Alright, that was a stupid hit I just did, but whatever. Okay, that's the end of this section. God, I love the long jump. That's so fun to use. Oh, look at this guy. Well, you know, quite frankly, I feel like they'd have no problem. If they were really trying, they'd have no problem trying to get him down from there. But whatever, they're dead. Whew. Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You can come down now. Honestly. A gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect, if you ask me. So, you are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon-to-be-patented grind boots. Did he just say Viola? Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. Oh, well, thanks for that. You're still fucking charging us. You know, I could have just left you there. But whatever, we need them. Well, thanks. I'm going to get out of here while I still can. You've got the grind boot. Yeah, we got the grind boot. Sweet. Honestly, the grind boots are pretty cool. They're a cool-ass gadget. And the cool thing is you can actually have them equipped on them, so... Cool, we don't have to run around barefoot anymore. Let's go. This is so awesome. I love it. And I like it's just like through like a glass little tunnel. And you can like see the outside. It's, it's so cool. Ching ching, ching ching. Hit the wall. Ooh, sorry, Ratchet. <laughs> God, I, I just love the look of this game. I'm going to be talking about that nonstop throughout this whole playthrough because the game just gets better from here on out. All right, now we can do this last part of this uh, this level. I'm sorry about cutting her off. There's probably something interesting there, but not really. After this, uh, after this is going up, there's going to be an episode, a multiplayer episode going up, to be exact. And I'm going to be playing that with a couple of uh, friends of mine, so be on the lookout for that once this is up. And quite frankly, as a warning, we're very retarded. And yes, I still use that word. Because I can. Oh wow, Jesus, they were all just chilling up my there on there. Mm, 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 mm. Think you guys are hot shit, huh? You ain't hot shit, boy. Stupid blogs. Oh wow, that sucks. Oh wow, that sucks. There's ten. There's eleven. This whole station fucked up the counter, didn't it? You know, I would edit an actual counter, but I'll just keep them in my head as I go along. Maybe I should kill these things. Twelve! You know what, just for that? Oh, that's nice. Who are both of you? That was my own fault. Damn, so we really, the counter really went up to 12 hits, didn't it? 
I, you know, I thought my ability was gonna... My ability with this game to be perfect Thank was gonna be there, but it wasn't. Self-destruct feature. Vessel annihilation sequence initiated. Please remove all personal belongings. So why exactly do they have a big red button there? To self-destruct this whole place. Makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Perhaps you didn't hear me. This vessel will self-destruct. I love it. In a matter of seconds. Please evacuate. Big one three. Honestly, could have looked a lot cooler, but hey, what can you do on an old PS2 game like this, right? Special report. This is Darla Grass reporting live from Blackwater City. We've just learned that Captain Quark will be presenting the grand prize at the Intergalactic Hoverboard Championship, which will be held here over Hello. the next few days. Oh, well, he's In gone. Related news, this planet has recently been suffering oh, well. <laughs> from an infestation of strange amoeboid creatures. The city's administration has assured this reporter that every step has been taken to eradicate these nuisances. Darla Gratch, Channel 2 News. Did you see her lip sync there? It was really off. Yes, I hope that poor woman is all right. Ah, uh, she's fine, I think. I was talking about the hoverboard races. <laughs> I, I gotta say, Ratchet just doesn't give a shit about anything else that goes on besides the thing that interests him, you know? But, uh... And honestly, I gotta say, Blackwater City, one of my favorites. Planet Rogar, here we go. In the next episode! Gotta leave you on a cliffhanger somewhere. That is one of my favorite planets. But, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. We'll be heading off to Planet Rogar and, uh, the next planet after that one. So we're gonna be keeping up to, like, at least two planets per video, you know? Keep it somewhat lengthy. Give you guys a decent amount of content within each episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. And remember! Stay fantastic.